Hey guys, what's up? So, I just got done seeing Seven Psychopaths. That's the movie that's currently out with Colin Farrell, Woody Harrelson, Christopher Walken, and uh, Sam Rockwell. And it was really, 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 really good. Now, the trailer makes it, like, hilarious as anything. But, you know, this is a dark comedy and... But this isn't like Beetlejuice or Death at a Funeral, no. This is a dark comedy that, you know, really, it's kind of more, it's more of a drama comedy. That's the thing it is. And, uh, it, but it was, I liked it. And, uh, so, yeah. It was overall a very, very, very good movie. Hey again. So, I am... As you can see, I, I changed location because, well, filming inside of an empty parking lot after 12, probably not the best idea, especially since there's police around the movie theater, so I'm back home now, as you can see. <sighs> so, since I'm home now, I thought I would do a proper review of the movie. So, for those of you who don't remember what this movie is, and for some reason you can't read, uh, the movie that I just got back from seeing was Seven Psychopaths. The plot of the movie is that the movie revolves around Marty, played by Colin Farrell, who is an alcoholic screenwriter who is trying desperately to finish his latest screenplay entitled Seven Psychopaths. So Marty is having, you know, a creative block, so he's trying to figure out how to, you know, how to write this movie and what it should be about. So he starts coming up with, you know, the psychopaths. Helping Marty write his screenplay is his friend Billy, who is um, a somewhat actor, but you know he has a temper, so he gets in uh, he gets in fights a lot. He is trying to help Marty to you know get inspiration to write his screenplay, which is Seven Psychopaths, with helping. Marty writes his screenplay. His friend Billy, along with his friend Hans, are in the dog borrowing business. But basically what they do is they kidnap these dogs and then they wait around for the owners to put up a big reward of like 500 or 1,000 or whatever because, you know, people love their dogs. And so, you know, they'll pay anything to get their dog back. And so they do that. But the reason why they're kidnapping these dogs is to help Han's wife, Myra, who is may or may not have cancer. I, I, um, I won't tell you more about that. But as the movie progresses, it's a... <laughs> these chains of events happen. What happened is, one of the dogs that Marty and Hans steal happens to belong to a psychopathic gangster named Charlie and his beloved Shih Tzu, Bonnie. And well, from there, everything just kind of spirals out of control and Marty gets caught up in, you know, the dog kidnapping business and, you know, being wanted by Charlie and his gang. And then other things start to unravel, which I, I won't tell you. You have to go see the movie to see, uh, to find out what happens. But I... It's worth it. You will like it. Because, I mean, if you like uh, Colin Farrell, Christopher Walken, Sam Rockwell, and Woody Harrelson, you can't go wrong. Another reason to go see this movie is uh, the guy, the, the director of this film is the same guy who directed the previous Colin Farrell film called In Bruges. So, yeah. So, overall, Seven Psychopaths is really good. And I really, I really highly recommend that you go out and see it. Okay, it's kind of hard to explain what kind of comedy it is. I, as I said in like in the beginning, it's a dark comedy, but it's a dark comedy with layers. I mean, there's there actually is. It's not just you know your your standard you know comedic uh, plot. No, there's a lot of there's layers behind it, and there's there's reason. This is okay. This is different from any type of comedy I've seen. Things happen for a reason. Now, I know that, you know, you know, everything happens for a reason. No, no. The chain of events that happen in this movie 
happen for a specific reason. So that's that's another thing. Plus, it's just it's funny. There's a lot of funny lines. There's a lot of just funny sequences. So yeah, I highly recommend that you go see Seven Psychopaths. If not, well then, I'm gonna have to call Zachariah Rigby. All right, bye.